first look at the bill of Mihai Kita. Those are the numbers, and I think the uh, number at the top could be the one that plays the biggest part in this. But does age mean experience? You've heard the Polish experiment and the guru tell you that uh, it does. We're going to have to see how this plays out. Three five-minute rounds under KSW rules. Thomas Bronda, our referee. If there was one fight I had to pick tonight that I don't see going the distance, it's this one. Stosic, excellent striking, very good grappling as we saw in his last fight. Opportunistic wrestling. Keita, great everywhere. Excellent counter puncher. Underrated judo, good clinch work. And excellent submission skills. He's a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, so both guys can finish you anywhere. That big overhand left came down. That was like a guillotine. I mean, uh, you know, Stosic, if you were going to design uh, a killing machine, that would be the design. That's the template, isn't it? I mean, he's, he's like the born identity, that guy. Just look at the build on him. It's just a man mountain. But, uh, you know, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, you, you, you know yourself, Christoph. It's all about skills. It's all about timing. And so much makes a difference. I, at this weight class, it doesn't really make a difference. Those nice uppercuts by Kida right there. He loves those uppercuts. Nice, short, crisp uppercuts. Elite hand uppercuts, power hand uppercuts. Very smart. Well, they're both very respectful, as you would imagine. I mean, this is like uh, one T-Rex meeting another T-Rex in Jurassic Park. They're not going to go to it straight away, are they? They're going to have a little sniff and smell around and see what's happening. It's interesting to see that Darko has got that guard covering up. Look at Keita go to work here. Great combinations. Left, right, left comes in hard. And uh, Stosic having to cover up there. Keita just showing off why he's a veteran. He can pick his shots. He's such an efficient guy. Knows when to use energy, knows when to turn on the power. I'm also liking the kicks from Darko. I feel like Kita is, although he moves very well, he is often fairly flat-footed, so those kicks are going to be money in the bank. Boom. Good, in good inside thigh there. And uh, Stosic, I think, having difficulty trying to work out what Kita's up to. And you talk about picking the shot. Great work there. And that uppercut, Christoph, that's working very well. Yeah, very nice. Stoshis look a little off right now. You know what I mean? Something's up. Uh, he's go grabbing his nose. He's grabbing his eye. Uh, I don't know if it's maybe got a thumb in the eye or something like that, but he's just looking not, not, you know, not all there right now. Power kick to the midsection there from Kita. That's what he does best. Bang, he delivered that the liver kick. That can drop. A fighter just like turning off a light switch. And you're right, Stosic doesn't look right, does he? He's not happy, but he's still banging in the shot. And I think he's taken a straight bang on the nose that's made him feel very uncomfortable. Bang, he goes in again. Left, right, left. And Keita now, not going to let his man off the hook. Just under, well, just over two minutes left in this round, so it's going to be a long... Hard round in the first here for Stosic. There was a couple of uppercuts that snuck through. I feel like the one just maybe 30 seconds ago landed really flush. Darko is dangerous. Maybe it's a rope -a dope but I think Kita smells the finish here, guys. Stosic threw up a high kick there. He is still very dangerous, but he's very lumpen, very sluggish. And Kita has the ability to flick the wrist when he throws those shots in. And that's, you know, an old Ali trick. You add 200% to that punch. It's not all about straight delivery. The flick on the right place makes all the difference there. So, interesting here. Look at Kita line up the shots. Yeah, it's that kind of Russian-style boxing where he whips it in. Oh, he got crackle up top. That's the thing. Kita wants to let the finish open up. He needs to continue to work with intelligence here. Stosic delivers that shot. Hello to my little friend. The left hand came round the corner, and that was a wake up there for Kita. He's not going to have it all his own way. And I think, like a wounded tiger, Stosic, if he was troubled in the first part of this round, is just going to be so dangerous. What I love about Kita is just the way he uses his combinations as one is power, one is nice and speed. Oh, nice right hand by Stosic right there. Oh, and down Kita goes, and this could be the beginning oh, of the end. It's all over. My goodness. Bye holy bye, smokes. Cola. Hello, holy wine. Stosic, like Lazarus, wow. comes back and delivers a win like... I tell you I'm the next champion. I tell you I'm the next champion. That's what Darko just said. We didn't need a translator for that. And Stosic, just in the zone there. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Hurt, down in the fight, struggling, but Darko Stosic just nuked him. I'm telling you right now, Kita does not know where he is at. Darko Stosic wow. is a dangerous man. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Batikeo.